Here are the five stages of Hashimoto's disease and what you need to look out for along the way. The first stage is autoimmune activation. That is when some sort of trigger switches on that autoimmune response and immune cells start to be activated. And those immune cells start to overreact, antibodies are created. At this stage, you probably won't be symptomatic, but it can begin to suppress your thyroid function. Stage number two, you might notice subclinical hypothyroidism and some of the beginning symptoms of Hashimoto's. Subclinical hypothyroidism is when you're still within clinical ranges, but you can start to see suppression of thyroid function. That's when your TSH is above 2 to 2.5, but still within that clinical range, which tends to be at 4 or 4.5 you might see some suppression of T4 and T3, often not. Some of those beginning symptoms that you might see is a bit of weight gain, a bit of brain fog, maybe some hair loss, and perhaps feeling cold. This is the stage that we wanna catch Hashimoto's. This is the stage that you should be doing Heal My Hashi's protocol and putting your Hashimoto's directly into remission before it gets any worse. So how do you know that that's what stage you're in? If you do that thyroid panel, TSH, T4 and T3, if there is anything that has changed where your TSH has crept higher above 2.5 or your T4 or T3 has dropped, then you look into getting your thyroid antibodies tested. If you have any of those Hashimoto symptoms, what is the harm in testing your Hashimoto's antibodies? You find that those antibodies are on the rise they are outside a clinical range. That in combination with your symptoms is a diagnosis of Hashimoto's. That is when you start the Heal My Hashis protocol. Don't let it get any worse. Stage number three is destruction of the thyroid gland and other organs and parts of the body. A truly unfortunate side effect of the disease progressing is rampant inflammation that can start to affect other parts of the body you start to see degeneration of your eyes, macular degeneration, even degeneration of your hearing, taste and smell. Your digestion starts to be affected. That means poor motility, which then affects your gut health. Your brain starts to be affected by the inflammation. Inflammation on the brain causing brain fog, memory loss, and then we're looking down the track to Alzheimer's and dementia. Your joints start to be affected. Inflammation causes joint pain and joint degeneration as well. Don't let it be getting that far. Stage number four is other autoimmune diseases. A lot of clients are presenting to me with more than one autoimmune disease. This does mean that it has progressed. You can still put your Hashimoto's into remission. You can still start to reverse the symptoms of those autoimmune diseases. You can still still begin healing at this stage, but it does mean that the disease is progressing and starting to affect other parts of your body, triggering other autoimmune disorders. Number five is destruction of the thyroid gland entirely. Yes, you can live on thyroid hormones. I have a cousin who was born without a thyroid and she functions perfectly well, but that doesn't mean that you've put the autoimmune disease into remission. That just means that the gland that it was attacking has been completely destroyed, but it will continue to attack other organs. Don't let it do that. Even if you don't have a thyroid gland, if it has been removed, you still need to put your Hashimoto's into remission. Okay, good. 